Hi, welcome back to Rich's Random Retro Reviews. It's been a while. You're going to have to excuse my eye. I've got a blown blood vessel in my right eye currently. Um, I had to go to the doctors. I've got slightly high blood pressure, but I won't bore you with that. I thought I'd just do a really, really quick video about what's been going on. Our good friends over at PCBWay have kindly sponsored this video. PCBWay offers a variety of services from PCB production and assembly to 3D printing in various materials, injection molded plastics and even sheet metal fabrication. They offer a very professional and high quality service for extremely reasonable prices. Check out a link for their website in the description below. So kind of like a channel update but also an introduction into what I'm calling my studio. So since January I have been constructing this building that I'm in. I say January, that's when I ordered the log cabin. Um, that arrived in the beginning of February and then I had to sort out the foundations. I'll basically just show you around and show you what I've done with the place. Now it's not finished by any stretch of the imagination, there's still plenty in here that I'd like to do. I've also not managed to finish it very well in certain places but that's because I don't do building as a, as a day job and, and when I say building what I actually mean is I constructed the log cabin um, it was purchased as um, a prefab kind of thing all the wood was cut for me so I just had to slot it together um, then what I did was I, I've insulated it I, I don't know what you call them but I call them beams but basically I've put beams up on all of the walls and I've then filled that with a hundred mil worth of recycled bottle insulation so that's gone around all of the walls and the ceiling the floors got 25 mil worth of insulation on and basically it's bloody warm in here <laughs> so there's three windows there's a window there there and there and then I've got some nice French doors just there so all the windows were supposed to open, but when I was installing them, they were that much of a pain that I actually decided not to bother making them opening. So when it gets a bit warm in here, I've either got the fan on or I just open one of the French doors and there's a nice breeze that comes in. So over the top of all the insulation, I put plasterboard and um, plasterboard isn't my favorite thing to do. I've never done it before either. So the finish isn't too bad in a lot of places, um, but I, I spent hours sanding and I'll put a couple of pictures in of, um, of the mess that I made when I was doing all the sanding. Um, basically, I put the plasterboard up and I didn't plaster all of the walls, I just plastered between the joins. Um, around the windows, this, this particular bit was a little bit more awkward. Um, so yeah, then I painted and then I painted the ceiling. Um, I've got a nice underlay that I put on the floor. And then I bought a carpet that goes over the top. Um, I've got electrics coming in here. It's just a temporary hookup at the moment, just so I can start using the place. Um, I'm going to put a fuse box, um, not a fuse box, a consumer unit in the corner. So we're going to have you know, proper uh, flip trip switches. Currently, I'm, there's a feed coming from the garage. Now, that's already got a consumer unit in, and I'm not really terribly worried about it. But I'm mindful of the fact that I'm pulling quite a bit of power when I'm turning. I've got three machines over here. I've got my lights on. I haven't got the lights on at the moment because it's daytime. Uh, but the idea is um, I'm going to um, completely cover the windows and then just use studio lights. So at the moment, it looks quite nice. But the problem is the, um, the sun over here, it goes bright, it goes dark because it goes behind clouds. So yeah, I'm going back to the electricity situation. Basically power comes from the garage, um, which is only a couple of meters that way. And it goes into a plug socket, um, which has got eight gangs on. Then there's an extension that comes around to this side that just powers my camera and my lights. Um, and I've, I've made sure that the power is really low. Um, I've got um, a device that I can see the amperage pull on the cables. And when the two computers are on, when all my lights are on, I'm pulling about 470 watts. So it's actually, it's not too bad and I'm not overly worried about it. I'm just conscious. I don't leave things turned on for too long. Um, and yeah, I, I don't want to burn the place down basically. So what I've also done to stop that is in the garage where the plug comes out to the, the studio is I put an Elgato power, uh, I can't think of what it's called, it's one of those smart plugs that works with HomeKit so I can say hey turn the studio power on and the power will come up. 
Um, I've got a, a Wi-Fi router in here as well that extends the internet from the house, which is working out really well. And I can then plug that into a hub, which gives me internet access to my old, on my old machines. And um, yeah, it's basically, a, it, it's been about five months worth of work. It's been quite a struggle. Um, like I say, I don't do this uh, as a day job. I work in IT. So learning about things. Um, what I did on the walls, for example, was I put all the insulation in and then I put the plasterboard over the top. But before I did that, I actually put a waterproof, well, a vapor barrier because um, I was a bit concerned about uh, damp coming in and I googled it I asked a few people should I put a vapor barrier in and the, the answer was absolutely yes so there's been a vapor barrier put in all the way around that was a pain to put in um, but it does mean that hopefully what with the insulation and the vapor barrier um, that it, it, it should be should be a, a decent place and I, I don't mind bringing my old computers and, and equipment in here um, I, I don't have to worry that it's going to be affected by moisture let's say so what I've done here is I've got a desk that's um, it's a, a, a standing desk so I can elevate it or lower it um, I'm going to mainly be sitting here talking to the camera but on this side of the studio this is where my old computers are and behind me this is my display so I've got my old vintage software um, I've got my games I've got my other CDs here I've got some um, portable media centers my Mac software my Apple TV my Mac mini I've got a Wally -E holding a floppy disk I've got some zip drives here some boxed windows software on this side we've got a nice Tetris light and I've got some um, just other odd, odds and ends that I've been collecting over the years that's been stuck in drawers and it's nice to be able to have it out on display and I'm going to change this up a bit so I'll, you might want to keep an eye out on the background because there might be things appearing, um, might be little easter eggs perhaps to videos upcoming. Um, but yeah so what we'll do now is I'll show you some pictures of the build and um, yeah then I'll, I'll just quickly grab another camera because this one's on a stand and it's a bit of a pain and I'll just quickly show you the uh, the computer setup that I have. Now I need to do cable management at, at the moment there's millions of cables hanging underneath the G3 and the, and the deck but uh, yeah I'm just glad to be in here. I haven't done any videos in here yet. I've got loads of videos upcoming that I want to do. I've got loads of ideas about things um, that I want to do videos on for you guys and but basically just start using this space um, and it's it's great to have it it's it's fantastic to have a dedicated space with all of my stuff in it because before I had stuff in the living room there was stuff in the office there was stuff in my bedroom now it's all here I've got plenty of storage down the bottom here I was a little bit worried when I was moving stuff in that I had far too much stuff um, also, you might notice the audio is a bit echoey. I, I am going to get some acoustic panelling. Um, there will be some on the ceiling, there will be some on the walls. Because basically at the moment, in here, it's literally just solid surfaces. So this wall here, the ceiling, that wall over there, there's nothing on it to stop the sound from reflecting. Now I am using a little Rode microphone, but unfortunately it's still bouncing and a bit echoey. So I will be working on the audio as, um, as time goes on. But I just wanted to get a, a video out just to show you what I've been working on and why I've been so quiet for the past few months. So let me just grab my phone and we'll go over to the PC desk. So in this corner we have the PowerMac G3 with the 15 inch studio display. We've got my 475 pound childhood PC or the deck. And then I have my 50 pound Windows XP machine. Um, I do have a couple of other machines that I'll be storing just under here at the moment. Ignore the, uh, ignore the welly boots there. They were at the boot of my car. Um, I've got a problem with the boot at the moment so I need to put them somewhere. There'll be a couple of computers down there that I'm going to plan on using a KVM for so I can use the keyboard and mouse and, and switch over. Um, I've got my granddad's PC and I've got uh, the B machine. So if we just scooch down here, you'll see horrible cable mess. Um, yeah, that all needs tidying up. And I'm just going to walk over here and then do an about turn. So there is the back of the studio. There is all my my toys and there's all my storage down the bottom there. And of course I've got a plant 
I don't know, I've got a light. And there's RGB, and the RGB can be controlled with one of these. So luckily, it works on both sides, so I don't have to have two remote controls. Um, I can just use the one. So uh, yeah, depending on the on the content, I might change the background color. So perhaps like if I'm talking about Apple, I know it might be green. Or if I'm annoyed about something, perhaps it might be red, I don't know. But yeah, so that's the studio. If we go around to this side, you'll see, now bear in mind, this is just a temporary setup, but there's my um, Sony camera. There's my little monitor, my little key lights, obviously a monkey keeping me entertained on my, uh, my branded hoodie. And then this is a new, uh, new addition to the, uh, to the family. This is my FTP server. So this was 40 pounds off eBay. It's a 2010 MacBook Pro. It's got a 500 gig SSD in, and basically um, it's set up as a FileZilla server so I can get files to and from my machines and not have to worry about which platform they're on. If we look out into the garden just there, I've got some laundry drying at the moment. Um, the doors need painting. Um, I've got these temporary blinds up just at the moment to kind of control the lighting. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've got that little chair there, some cables I need to send off to a friend of mine. But yeah, that's where I'm going to be sitting and talking about all my stuff. So, if you've made it this far, thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.